ikhlas, sincerity. Subhanallah. It is the one greatest qualification of our relationship of worship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا أُمِرُوا إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ The one commandment that has never changed, has never varied from Allah to all of humanity from the beginning of time is that when you commit yourself in worship, when you commit yourself in your obedience and in your ritual worship or non-ritual worship towards Allah, that you do it with ikhlas, with a sincerity. Have you ever seen one of your Arabic brothers, one of your friends, you know, when he's had enough and he just says, khalas, I've had enough. That's the very same concept that you've given up all hope all pretense, all reliance on anything, anyone other than Allah. No hope that anyone can accept your deeds but Allah. No fear do you have in anything greater than Allah. No love do you adorn for anyone anything greater than Allah. That you have committed a whole totality of submission through sincerity of heart, through seeking a direct and most direct approach to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The word ikhlas is a sirat al-mustaqim. It is the straightest path to attaining the success and the victory and the support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore when Allah obligates upon us worship, He makes it conditional to it fulfilling the tradition of the Prophet sallallahu and equally as important that it is done seeking only Him alone. إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ It is only you Allah that we will seek with our worship. Only you, O oh Allah, that we will put our reliance and trust and request with. It is only you, Allah, that we he seek help from subhanahu wa ta'ala. And therefore sincerity becomes one of the greatest elements that has been described in the behavior and the manifestation of all of the righteous communities of the past and into the future. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to celebrate the ritual and the worship of an individual, he refers that that person did it with ikhlas, with a sincerity of heart, with a determined effort of love, and with a fear and a consciousness of doing it for other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has promised that He is the one who will never accept a deed, never accept an act of devotion where anyone else has been given even a minuscule share of it. It is either only for Allah or that you have lost of its reward in seeking something other than it. So let your prayers be for Allah, let your adhkar be for Allah, and hide of your good deeds that is known to you and Allah. Let your zakah be in the dark, and let your sadaqah be a flourish, that you do in part some of it that is only known to Allah Azza wa Jal. Make that sincerity something that is a byproduct of the cleanliness of your heart that we see demonstrated through the tazkiyah that we seek from the Qur'an. May Allah make us of them. Allahumma ameen.